I'm an EU citizen. I moved to Spain from the UK after Brexit. I moved to Spain before Brexit. And we have different rights in Spain. What do you mean? I want to know as well. Stick around and you'll find out. Let's do the different rights dance. Hello you, thanks for joining the family here at U2 Spain. I help you discover how to move to Spain with the help of up-to-date information and links to all of the organisations and documents you need. And with the help of specialists on the front line of immigration, bring you the help you need to make your Spanish dreams come true. I moved to Spain from the UK after Brexit. So you said, this is Walter. He's a third country national resident of Spain. TCN. Exactly. That's your abbreviation for this video. Oh, I feel all abbreviated. Oi, you keep your abbreviations where I can see them. And this is Tommy. I moved to Spain before Brexit. He's what we'll call a withdrawal agreement resident. W-A. But I don't withdraw from nothing. Well, the UK did from the EU, but you applied to stay on in Spain and keep the rights you previously had as an EU citizen. And don't you forget it. I won't. And I have an Irish passport, so I'm a citizen of the EU. Ooh, you lucky thing. I am, because I have a few more rights than both of you, and I'm feeling pretty smug about it. You could stick your rights right up your... Ask me a question then. Have I got the right to work? Only if you come to Spain on a working visa or a golden visa. What about the non-lucrative visa? TCNs can't work on the non-lucrative visa. So I can never work? Not during the first five years when you're a temporary resident, but you can apply to ex exchange to a working visa or a golden visa after your first year on the NLV. I can work, you're not stopping me. It's true. WA residents have the same rights to work as EU citizens. Yes. So you can work then, scats. Absolutely. I can do anything I want as long as it's legal. Are you having a go at me? No, Tommy. I wouldn't dream of it. I would. <laughs> but what I want to know is, how long can I spend outside of Spain without losing my residency? That depends on whether you're a permanent resident or a temporary one. How do I know which one I am? It depends on which visa you have. That's a lot of it depends. There's always a lot of that. Let me explain. Go on then. Don't be long. The pub's opening in a minute. OK. It's not difficult, really. It's only the investor visa. Golden visa. Yes, same thing. It's only that visa that's different. So I'll come to that later. On any other visa, you renew your temporary visa for two years after years one and three. Then you can apply for your permanent visa after those first five years. So how long can I be outside of Spain on the temporary one? You can spend a maximum of 182 days each year or one solid block of six months. But if you want to apply for permanent residency, you can only spend a maximum of 10 months out of Spain while you're a temporary resident. What? What happens if I go over 10 months? Well, you can still carry on being a temporary resident. You can apply any time after that for permanent residency as soon as you've done five years with that 10 months maximum time away. What if I'm working here and I'm sent away to another country to work? Good question. And that's where there's some confusion when you look online for answers. If you have a Spanish employer, your total time away in that five years can be 12 months instead of 10. That explains a lot. How long can I spend outside of Spain once I'm a permanent resident? Anything up to 12 months consecutively. And if I go over that, then you lose your residency and have to reapply. Although the rules about how much cash you need are a little bit more lenient for previously permanent residents. Don't worry about that though, Walter. That's not going to happen to any UK citizens until about 2026. Never mind him. What about me? Oh, hello again, Tommy. I thought you'd gone to the pub. I've been waiting for you. All right, then. Let's find out how long you can leave Spain for. I want to see my family. Of course you do. I hear they're allowed visitors now. Are you casting nasturtions on my family? I never throw flowers at anyone, mate. Get on with it then. Okay, 
So as a temporary resident, you can stay outside of Spain for up to six months each 12-month period, starting from the date of your residency. What about if I'm a permanent resident? Then you can spend up to five years consecutively. What's consecutively? All in one block, from start to finish. If you're a resident of somewhere else for that long, you lose your WA residency. How do I get it back? Mm, you can never get that back. You'd have to reapply from scratch as a non-EU citizen. No! I'll scratch you! All right, settle down. Actually, that five years is the only rule where you have more rights than me. As an EU citizen, I can only leave for two years before I lose residency. <laughs> I'm better than you. Uh, but I can still move back there and reapply any time and have the right to work. I hate you! Ah, 800 years of oppression and finally you admit it. What? Just a little joke. Can I get you a drink? Ah, all right then. And relax. Peace and love. Peas and fluff. Are we done? Oh, what about the golden visa? You said you'd come back to that. Oh, I did. Just to say that TCNs who come in on the golden visa have very few restrictions on leaving Spain. It doesn't affect their residency. So they can leave for as long as they want and still become permanent residents then? Actually, no. If they want to become permanent residents, they have to have spent the six months a year here for five years to qualify. But if they don't want to achieve that... They can just keep on renewing every five years once they've passed the first year or two. OK, thank you for all the information. You're welcome. If you want to know more, just check out the website. U2Spain.com That's the one. Oi, do you want to buy some Bitcoin? Er, uh, no. I'd rather do the hippie dance. Let's all do the hippie dance then. See you in the next video. Bye. Oi. Let's dance.